You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing predictions for NXT TakeOver. Was it War Games? War Games. Yeah. yeah. So this is the first time we've done a NXT prediction video. Yes. But we're new at this. Oh. I guess so. The, the NXT, NXT part. Yeah. But they've put on such a good show every takeover. Uh-huh. So why not? Well, generally speaking, what happens is they put on a, what a seemingly a lackluster card. Mm-hmm. And then the the performances during the takeover just completely blow whatever pay per view yeah. is that weekend out of the water. And uh, this is a big one with uh, War Games returning after what twenty years, thirty uh, years? Yeah, however long it's been. I like how they're saying it's like, oh, we haven't seen this match in X amount of time. We've never seen it in WWE. It's true. So it's just funny because so, it's it's it was a WCW and an mm-hmm. NWA exclusive match. Yeah, we so. will note this beforehand that the go home show to War Games has not aired yet, so there could be some stipulations that change. Oh yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. It, because as of right now, it's just the triple threat. There's no other like stipulation to it or yeah or in any of of the other matches anyway well yeah the five matches and the dark match which i would assume will be on next week's nxt episode hopefully at the very least yeah because that one's supposed to be pete dunn against johnny gargano for the uk title don't know why they made this a dark match um i I mean i understand that probably time constraints and things like that doesn't make any sense because it's six this is a huge draw yeah it's going to be a great match, too. That's the annoying part. But even the thing, yeah, even with five matches, which generally their normal card, they don't really drag. Yeah. So, I don't know. Also, they've never been afraid to go long. No. So. That's true. But, oh, well. Yeah. So, um, I would assume we will open with uh, either Aleister Black versus the Velveteen Dream or Cassius Ono versus Laura Sullivan. It's going to be Aleister Black and Velveteen yeah. Dream. That's. A, I don't even think this match was technically... Uh, I don't think it was actually confirmed yet. What one? The Aleister Black versus... Yeah. Oh, it was? Yeah. yeah, it's been confirmed for a little while now. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I thought maybe it was... Mm-hmm. I guess I just missed it. Yeah. Um, Aleister Black's going to win. Yeah, there, there's <laughs> there's no doubt about it. This yeah. man... There's so much talent here. He's got a look. He's great in the ring. He yeah. seemed decent on the microphone from what we've heard. They also really haven't done a whole lot with him, so he's got a huge well, But they've been protecting him a no, lot. No, I mean in terms of he hasn't done... Oh. He hasn't had to show any kind of real, like, effort. Well, that's, yeah, well, this kind of Velveteen Dream playing all mind games with him and stuff like that, so yeah. they're kind of experimenting with the Aleister Black character, at least building depth yeah. to it. And... But uh, my, my, my point, because kind of was just like he hasn't really had to show any kind of real mm-hmm. effort that's no, no, why no. He obviously yeah. he's gonna well gonna this go is the first here. real feud that he's yeah because i mean with uh, him versus hideo right at takeover brooklyn right mm-hmm. there was not much build to it I no think. i think he just challenged i think hideo was just mad yeah oh right yeah that's yeah. what it was yeah when him he was fighting cassius mm-hmm. yeah but, so uh but yeah all of alistair black's matches at the takeover events have always been Mm-hmm. very good so yeah uh, yeah um so uh i guess um probably up next would be the ono versus sullivan yeah um, um no no reason for laura sullivan not to go over here yeah they've seemed to be building him up almost as a uh, brawn 2.0 yeah the the only thing i think could be um what's it called uh, could be a problem or mm-hmm. no, not a problem but the only thing that ono has going for him is that when they set up the match, he said that, oh, I've been on a real streak, so maybe if I win this, uh, win this match, I can get a, an NXT t- title shot. Yeah. So that would be the only reason why I would he think would maybe over. Ono would. Yeah, but I don't, I don't see them. And what, what could technically happen is that Lars goes nuts, gets himself disqualified, so technically... Ono does win. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so that's possible. That, that like, you can't a, put him away or something like yeah. that. Yeah. So Ono would get the victory, yeah. but Lars is the dominant force. Right. Yeah. But that that's honestly what I would think would happen. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to yeah. go with Ono winning. All right. Off, we'll, off of that. We'll differ on that one. Yeah. 
So uh, up next, I guess we have the Fatal 4-Way for the vacant NXT Women's Championship. Yeah, I would imagine so. Ember Moon versus Kyrie Sane versus Nikki Cross versus Peyton Royce. Yeah, and what we're assuming is just a regular Fatal 4-Way match. Yeah, I don't... It hasn't been confirmed, confirmed or anything. Yeah. Um, so... This match, should be, I, I would assume it's pretty good. Like you said, I don't remember one of our reviews that it's a little tough without Asuka here, considering she's been the staple for, what, two years almost? Uh, yeah, 500 days as champion. Yeah. 500 plus days as champion. Yeah, so it's a little weird seeing a women's championship match without her in it. That's true. It's um, been a while. Um, it, it seems like Kari Shane's going to win. Yeah, I mean, this is tough. I, I just... It, it, I feel bad for all the other women if they're going to go right from Asuka to another dominant mm -hmm. woman yeah. because, I mean, Kyrie is the future here. It's true. They obviously have a lot of value, or they see a lot of value in her, especially mm -hmm. after winning the Mae Young Classic and just how they've presented her in NXT so far. Yeah. Um, Which I still would love to see Ember Moon or Nikki Cross have a... A, um, title reign. Title reign. Yeah, they, I, are, they are great. Yeah. I mean, I, I think Peyton will eventually make her way to the main roster. Well, they all will. Right, but I mean, she won't necessarily need that title no, no, like no, Alexa no. Bliss. Yeah. I just, I felt like Ember Moon should have taken the title off of Asuka. Like, oh, like well, I, I called for WrestleMania yeah. weekend. But, this year, right? Yeah. Yeah. But that didn't happen. No. Um, but yeah, Ember Moon, honestly, I think at this point she should just move up. Yeah. I think they need to find a way to expand the women's roster on the main, on the main roster. Well, there's a time constraint. Though. No, I mean find a way that they can fit it in. Yeah. And have a bigger roster. Mm -hmm. Do something, just so they can utilize this talent right properly. Because I don't want to say that like the, the women's revolution, so to speak, but it's kind of halt, halted. They really haven't it's pushed because forward because they have. There's no. There's no growth. No, I know, but I mean, it, it just feels like WWE or oh, we got to put a woman's segment here. Oh, we got to put a women's match here. Yeah. It's not like it's building. This is, this is what we want to showcase. Right, yes. So, I mean, the last time it felt that way was really with S Sasha and Charlotte. Because mm. that then they put a big emphasis right. yeah, on absolutely. it. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it definitely has gone to a little bit of a yep. standstill. But. Oh, well. So um, I'm guessing next will be the uh, championship match. Yeah, uh, Drew McIntyre versus Andrade Cien Almas. Yep. Um, obviously, McIntyre is not losing this time. Now, hopefully, the future face of the company. Oh, absolutely. The, or at, at the very least, a name that's synonymous with NXT champion. Something. Just the man has it all. It's true. He is fantastic. And he doesn't really need to be around to have the presence either. He feels like I think mm -hmm. we said this before. He feels like a champion. Yep. He just he has every. I, yeah. The man has done everything he has needed to come back and mm -hmm. be successful. And it's just so funny because his first run, he was literally told or called Vince McMahon's choice Ch as yeah. like the fate, new face of the company, mm -hmm. and then he flopped, and then he left, and now he's back. Yeah. Right. And. He's just, Sometimes that's just what you need. It's true. He's great, though. I mean, I, I think this would be, I'm not going to say it, but a similar story if Cody ever came back. Yeah, I guess, but I don't know. Maybe. Well, he's been able to brand himself so much. Yeah. I mean, granted, he's been able to do that because of the name he made in WWE and who yeah. he is and mm -hmm. things like that. But him coming back, he would definitely have a su successful run. But yeah. Basically, but I, I think Almas is just being used to make mcintyre look even better yeah I, I don't there's no way he drops the title yeah um but I, i'm looking forward to this match i i, I like andrade in the ring mm -hmm. I, I think his character development with uh selena vega has it's it's better than what it was they were really not doing anything with yeah almas he was kind of just thrown in there as all right you're new here yeah you're gonna face almas making your debut facing almas yep well that's what happened with dallas or black yeah yep so Bobby Roode too, right? Mm -hmm. Oh no, no, Bobby Roode faced. Nah, he um, he faced No Way Jose, but I think that was the other way around. I think Jose had almost f in his first match. <laughs> Where has he been? Went no Way Jose. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's weird. He, he had just, such high he hopes. He just for pops him. up, and I yeah. mean, yeah, he was great. Good. He should have been the one bothering Alistair Black. Yeah, but, get I, him to dance. I guess that'd been funny. Yeah. 
Well, him and Austin Aries, they they had that. That was yeah, that was good. That yeah, was a good feud. Yeah, that was back when Aries was allowed to fight heavy people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the nice thing about NXT. Yep. Well, there was no, no constraints. Yeah. Um. So, uh, but yeah, up next we have uh, the main the, event, the War Games match. Yeah. The triple threat of the Authors of Pain with Roderick Strong versus Sanity versus the Undisputed Era. Yeah. I mean, I I never expected to see war games. In no, because NXT. it's crazy. Well, there's truth to that. Um, yeah, the rules are also. Are, did they come out with a toy? No, not no. yet. Okay, give it time. Because that's usually what they do is they put strange gimmick matches and yeah. have them come up come up on the time that they make toys. Yeah, no, I have not seen anything. <clears throat> so, but uh, yeah, I I mean they they seem to be putting a lot of stock into the undisputed era. Yes, they are going to be the future. They are the future. Even Adam though, Cole, baby. Even though uh, I think Bobby Fish is like thirty eight or something like that. Oh, well, isn't Adam Cole? Kind of on the old. Adam Cole too? is twenty eight or oh, twenty nine. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. He kind of looks old for his Bobby age. Bobby Fish, thirty eight. Yeah. I mean, I don't think Adam Cole will be a major player until he uh, gets a little bigger. I think he's going to be looked at as undersized against some of the bigger talent. Oh yeah, he is a little guy. Yeah. So, but not the, actually, all three of them are kind of yeah. on the the small yeah. side. But I'll tell you what, Kyle O'Reilly is scary looking though. Those <laughs> eyes. <laughs> It's like he wants to rip your head off. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, but I, like I said, I, I don't see Undisputed Era losing this match. Yeah. They've, I mean, Sanity, they can take the take a pin. It's in not for the title, so no. it doesn't matter to them. Right. And, and the authors of Pain. And Roderick Strong, they were just kind of thrown into the match yeah, almost. Yeah, it was strange. Which, but, I mean, granted, the authors of Pain were caused to lose the titles because of Undisputed Era. Oh, and, yeah, yeah. Well, and the, the story makes sense. Right. But the way that they, or the fact that they are mm-hmm. putting in the match is kind of strange. Yeah. But, but again, it, it should be an interesting one. Mm-hmm. I'm very curious to see how they do the... Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, I know it, the the rules and everything are, and things like that. But I mean, just how the match is going to... It, it should be interesting. Yeah. At the very least. Mm-hmm. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. Yeah. And like we said, NXT puts on great shows. So. Yeah. Um, the, yeah. This year could be their toughest... Going up against a very stacked Survivor Series card. Yeah, so we will see if they actually uh, are able to pull this one off. Yes. But so. uh, yeah, that has been our NXT War Games predictions video. Yes, if you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.